Yo, what's up everybody? We are back for a special video today. It is Thanksgiving weekend. This video is gonna drop a little bit later than Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody on the channel. Carmen is ready. And if you can see here, we have a gigantic Hot Wheels car from the Fast and the Furious parked out here. We normally don't have this at home. Uh, it's a little bit frosty this morning. So uh, what do you guys think of the gigantic Too Soon Junior Fast and Furious Jetta? There is a car meet in town tomorrow night. So I brought this home to potentially uh, drive out to the meet. And you can see our car is warming up. Uh, you can't see the cool effect in this one, but this one is uh, got sparkle in the paint. So it's pretty cool. So if you guys are ready, we're ready. Let's get to it. Oh, there was a close parking spot. Oh. Let's go in the car yeah. move it. All right, guys, we are here at the Walmart bright and early. It is 7.30 in the morning on Black Friday. Um, we are gonna go ahead and uh, it's, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It looks more like an average morning. Of it looks like an average Saturday morning. It yeah. doesn't look all that bad. Um, so hopefully it's not too bad, too crazy. Um, we're not really out here trying to look for any specials or anything. We're just out because we like to come shopping, I guess. So here we go. All right, there's definitely some people in the toy section. We have some friends down the toy aisle while we hunt. I already see someone eyeballing the die cast down there. Oh, oh. That Barbie car. oh there's a cool Barbie car. I told you I had a dream we about might have that to get that just because she's had a dream about it. Keeping it though. Yeah, we are keeping it. There's the Tune Supra. Oh, yeah, we got a Tune Supra. We got a Forza model there. Um, we'll take a quick peek at these pegs. Of course, it doesn't really seem like much has changed. All right. Oh, no Sylvia oh, double pack. No, I just looked. All right. This is the, seems to be the other one that's... Yeah, the flip car. It's yeah. pretty cool. We got Jay Leno. Premium sets here. Oh, there are going to be shelf warmers for sure. Check the Jada 124s. What do we got in the very back there? Jeeps. More Jeeps. Ooh, we got some Sprite OBSs. Do we have any chases? Oh, never mind. Those are the Datsun trucks. My bad, my bad. We got the Shell Mustang. Got the VW Mustang. We got somebody that wants to be in the video. There you go. What do you got there? Ooh, a city set. Hot Wheel City. That's a good one. Check the team transports. There is a lot of M2s, but I think I was here a few days ago and this still kind of looks like the same stock of the M2s. Vehicle clothes, got some Auto Worlds. Ooh, that 85C10 is actually pretty sweet from Jada. Too bad it wasn't the older body. That is pretty sweet. I have a 76, so it's got a different front end and grill and the fenders are a little bit different. The hood's different. I'd like to do a custom on one. So, take a quick peek at these M2s. But uh, I think I've already looked through these a few days ago. Um, they definitely brought a good stock in. Oh, they still have the... We still have the GMC square body here. See, that's pretty cool. It is nice, but I'm not that crazy on that one. I want the blue and white one. All right, there's our eight foot tall display. Are you gonna get to the top? Someone said in the comments recently that you just gotta get on my shoulders. Yeah, that'd probably work. If we find something up top, you gotta get on my shoulders and we'll get it. We do have a cyclone way up there. What? It and it is a main line. I'm gonna put that back so I can reach the top. Just not very well. There's one too, mainline. Um they do look pretty recently stocked oh, though. Some new cars, like yeah, we got a couple main lines side by side. Look at that guy, that's kinda cool. Yep. Got another main, another main, another main. Got another main. Lots of Tune Supras. We got a couple Tune Supras right there next to each other. And uh, 
man, I don't know if I really want to dig through. We'll just kind of peek at the side. I don't even see any treasure hunts. Yeah, I don't even like any of these mainline castings. Why you vlogger? Yep. Yes, sir. My Shout name's out. Hudson by my merch. There That's you go. Company. What's your IG? <laughs> uh, I forgot. You got no IG? Hudson underscore Searle. All right, man. Then you guys heard it. It wouldn't be a very thankful Thanksgiving if we didn't do a little bit of thanks and do a little bit of giving. So should we do a little giveaway later? We should. I think we got something that we got to give away to you guys later. And you guys are going to have to wait till the end of the video to check out to see what that is. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys what I think we are going to be giving away. It's something very special. We did find the dump bin. Um, we didn't really think there would probably be much in here, but I did skim across the top. And we did find two Mad Fast treasure hunts. We are going to keep hanging up right there so they stay in good shape uh, for somebody else because we already have one of those for our collection and a few extras to give away to you guys for our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you guys are interested in our giveaway, you just have to leave a comment down below that says enter and you'll automatically be entered into our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And at 5,000 subs, we will be giving away five treasure hunt vehicles like those ones sealed up in protectors to you guys. The traffic in there was definitely picking up for Black Friday. Um, Carmen did find her first Hot Wheels find, Barbie from the movie. It is the Corvette. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and put that in a protector. That is her first car for her collection. We are gonna skip Fred Myers today because we already did that last night. So go ahead and check that out. Thanksgiving day, we are here at the Fred Meyer. And what do we have here? Look at this bin. Yeah, we got a dump bin. We got a display that looks pretty darn fresh if you ask me. Let's dive in and take a quick peek. I do got that one. You do? Yep, I actually have that. Well, we do have a donut drifter treasure hunt, but we already got too many of those, and we got some extras to give away to you guys, too. So we are actually going to set that one right up top there for somebody so it doesn't get its card ruined. I'll take a quick peek through these new displays. These are so tough to go through. I'm gonna make some room here. Yep, I sure am. Okay. This one looks fairly undisturbed, so I'm going to be picking through this one. Versus that one looks a little more disturbed. All right, come on. Ooh, nice little CRX. That's pretty nice. We got one of those though. Nice Jeep wagon here. Ooh, a very nice Mercedes Benz in black. Got a Renault Sport mainline. Got another Mercedes black. We got a Liberty Walk Sylvia. Gas Monkey Garage Corvette, mainline. We got uh, two Renault Sports there. Nice three, nice Z car there. And we got one backwards one. WRX. 
bags, a couple of those. Ooh, that is a very nice little Mazda. Little truck there. I saw that. Thank you. I just looked through it. to the very end and what is that Bentley huh. so you guys heard the lady um, that is the newest shipper um, apparently just came here yesterday we might have not been the first it looked pretty fresh we were able to find a treasure hunt in there so we will be saving that right up top here for somebody else these have clearly been uh, picked through. I will glaze across the top of it, but it appears that somebody's been here on these. These look exactly the same. I feel like these exact cars sit here the entire time and no one ever touches them, but I have found a couple treasure hunts on these pegs, believe it or not. Uh, we got lots of dump bins over here. Cards are literally destroyed um these are just old leftovers it looks like destroyed cards another dump bin it's crazy how many dump bins they have but it's just old leftovers yeah we got leftovers there um those are definitely looking like some leftovers I wonder if they'll even restock before tomorrow, before Black Friday. No, probably not. So I think we're going to go ahead and Let's skip out tomorrow. on Fred's tomorrow. Because I highly doubt they're going to restock this in the next hour uh, or two. Because I think they close early today at what yeah. time? Three or four, I think. Three or four, yeah. So they close here in just a couple of hours. So I highly doubt they're going to restock during Black Friday. So um, we're getting this stop out of the way you try that thing on yet no. you gonna try it on I am. I'm there. <laughs> yeah i set the donut drifter right here and i also put this gas monkey garage corvette main line up here too because i think that's a pretty cool casting um the donut drifter is gone i don't know if the employees just did the employees just throw it in here do they not know we're trying to keep the card in good shape so did someone grab it Someone might have grabbed it. Do you already have this one, baby? Yep, we do have that one. Good find, though. We do have that in two colorways. I thought we did. Did they just put the donut drifter back on here? Where did it go? Where did the donut drifter go? We're not getting it anyway, but it is funny that it got picked up. It fell through, babe. Oh, did it fall through? Yeah. Okay, so Over she there. so she found it. It did fall through. It's on um, the other side, we are going to try to get that out of there because we don't want that to be back there. Though, set it yeah. out, like, we need to go set these on the pegs and we're going to leave these two just sitting right here because these are obviously way too cool to get destroyed so we got our treasure hunt and our gas monkey garage corvette sitting right there and uh, we'll leave those for the next person here at the hobby lobby and uh, that was pretty cool that we were able to find two mad fast treasure hunts and leave them for somebody else and we also found a donut drifter um, and a gas monkey garage corvette at fred meyer and we left that for somebody else that hopefully they'll find today right, we're still looking for the 16th inch tube axles um is that it right there um no that's solid who are these it 16th inch brass tube okay awesome we uh, need these for customs. We've been trying to find these for a while. They were out of stock. It is pretty cool that they finally have some. I did order some on Amazon like over a month ago and I have no idea why they're taking so long, but they, uh, they say they're supposed to be here within like the next week or so, um, but it's obviously taken so long, but uh, we are gonna swoop these 16th inch brass tubes up for some customs. All right, we're here at the Hobby Lobby. Let's check it out. They have some Johnny Lightnings up there. 
Um, we do have some M2s, turtle wax, Coke. Got the Coke, Chevy Camaro, and Shelby GT500. That is pretty cool. Police hauler there. Racing champion. Got the four post lift there. Low rider, California low riders. Monte Carlo. We got the Sprite M2. Challenger, funny car. Oh, what do we have there? 84 Chevy. Green light. We've never had a green light before. So it's an 84 Chevy C10. Um, but I just don't really like it. It's got like a gun turret in the back. I'm good without that one. 67 Chevy C30 tow truck. Two of them. Two of them different colors. Um, Jeeps. Homer and Rockwells. Got a Toyota Tundra. Got a tractor. This is a newer Chevy, huh? Yeah, that is an OBS, but that is actually pretty cool. It's a 91. Pretty cool. It's got the little gasser on the back. Looks like the green Chevy that you had, huh? Yep. Some gas pumps. Those are kind of cool. Right. Um, we got the M2 haulers. I'll put that back over here. Let's take a quick peek through these other green lights. We've got first responders. Some Johnny Lightning. Gosh. Muscle machines. I'm good on those guys. No offense to you guys like the muscle machines, but I am good on the muscle machines. Some M2s. Some model kits over here. G.I. Joe. Ooh, we do have a nice little four post lift there. That is actually pretty cool. That's a nice four post lift. Running on empty. We do got a nice C8 Corvette. A couple of those in different colors. We got the Mustang, Fox body, C8 Corvette. Man, we got nothing cool. Color shifters. We do have some race day. Number four of five and five of five. Ford Capri, GR5, and the 94 AMG Mercedes. Pretty cool. Not really crazy on them. I am looking at the wheels though, because sometimes if they have some sweet wheels, I'll get them for customs. Tear them apart and throw the bodies away. That's the thing about Carmen, is she's so short, as you can see, you, you can't see her past any of the shelves. Um, she's shorter than the shelves. We need to get her one of those little um, flags that stick up on like dune buggies and stuff. That way when she's walking around, we can see this big flag popping up and we can find her because she likes to walk off in the stores. <laughs> We're here at the Dollar Tree. Um, we heard that there's some Black Friday specials going on. I heard everything's gonna be a buck 25 today. So we are here. Let's go ahead and check it out. In my opinion, this is the worst Dollar Tree in the nation. I'm not expecting too much. And uh, man, they got a lot to choose from. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do got some Matchbox. That's it. Not a single Hot Wheels car. So that was it. And check our team transports. We got nothing. We got a Corrado. That's actually pretty cool. Miata, Miata, BMW, Miata, Corrado, W. Oh, it's a Fiat. Oh, we do got the Toyota Altezza. I think I'm gonna pick that up. I think that is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that. Number two of five. Do we have a chase? We do not. It's probably the most we've seen here in a while. Yeah, it's pretty soft up. We have a gray Subaru. We're probably just gonna pick that up. Let's check the ultra hot. Firebird. Mm -hmm. 
Check our Johnny Lightning. Ooh, that is pretty cool. Nissan 240, we are definitely gonna pick that up. Our 132 Jadas, 124s. There's always a Red Bull. We're here at the Walgreens, and uh, I still just can't see it in video, but this car sparkles. It's got twinkle glitter. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that in the paint. All right, we are here. They don't have a lot. Ooh, Porsche 932. I do have the, the Integra of this. We'd love to find the C10 right there. 67 Chevy C10, 55th anniversary. This is awesome. Mainline pegs here. We do have a pretty sweet Jeep Wagoneer in black. And nada. As we're at a grocery store and uh, let's cross our fingers. Carmen said she found a dump bin here the other day and here it is and somebody has been digging through it so we will see what there is it's probably me from it's probably you from a couple days ago yeah we got a cart i'm not even seeing any of the treasure hunt so far yeah not even any of the main lines We do have a yellow submarine. We have a little twin mill with the Braille. It's a Braille mm -hmm. racer. And of course, you got to keep an eye out, guys, when you guys are putting the cars back because there is a regular treasure hunt, Rise and Climb. We did get this one last weekend, so we are gonna swoop this one to put in our giveaway box for you guys. And uh, the card looks to be in a pretty good shape, so we'll go ahead and throw that in a protector. We're here at another Walgreens. We do have another 55th anniversary twin mill. We do not like that though. Not much for main lines. An airplane, we got a boat. One 132 McLaren 720S. We're back at the crib. Let's go over with what we got today. Today was a very exciting, fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Carmen and I had a great day waking up really bright and early and getting out on town on, on this crazy Black Friday. It wasn't too crazy. It did start picking up towards the end of the day, but we were able to pull quite a few uh, different things that we normally didn't come across. So let's go over it. So first of all, Carmen found her very first Hot Wheels diecast car for her collection. So this will be going into our collection. It is the Barbie movie 1956 Chevy Corvette. This is a pretty cool car um, from the Hot Wheels Screen Time series. Um, this is a pretty cool. It's pink. She loves pink. It's her favorite color. Go figure. We will be putting that in a protector and that will be her special car. We also have a treasure hunt. Now we recently just came across this treasure hunt. So this one will be given up uh, for a giveaway in the future, we are giving away five treasure hunt vehicles in a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. And all you guys have to do is leave enter down in the comments and at 5,000 subs, we will be giving away five treasure hunt vehicles to five lucky subscribers. So just leave enter in the comments and that car will be going in the box to give away along with four others. We also came across a 1967 Chevy C10. Now this one is pretty special to me um, because I do have a 1968 Chevy C10 personally and a fleet side long box just like this. So I thought this is pretty cool. We did open up our last 1967 Chevy C10 and we did a full custom to replicate my truck that I own personally and uh, came out really awesome. So uh, to, to get another one that we can leave in the package is pretty cool. Came across our first uh, Modern Classics Premium car that we picked up and this is the 98 Toyota Altezza. Now in the States, this car was labeled a Lexus IS 300, but this car is pretty cool. Uh, I, we love imports over here. So um, we do think that this car is pretty cool. I thought this was a pretty cool one to pick up. Of course, some of the real, real riders wheels, um, but a pretty cool JDM casting, of course. So that will be going into our collection. We'd love to pick up that EG Honda Civic Spoon Sports. Um, so maybe we'll be lucky enough to come across one of those one day. 
um, but uh, we do want to pick one of those up. But this is a pretty cool casting, had to pick it up. Our first Johnny Lightning casting. Um, I've always been looking at the Johnny Lightnings and I just haven't found anything that I was too crazy passionate on. We do love imports, like I said, in 1990 Nissan 240SX is definitely sweet it's got a pretty cool uh smoke show livery uh, can't go wrong with that so pretty pumped on that and it is of course our first johnny lightning uh casting so that is going to go in, into the collection uh, here is of course our other rise and climb treasure hunt that we came across that we have sealed up in a protector and uh we were pretty pumped to come across that because we hadn't come across that so it's funny that we actually came across two uh pretty much back to back that we had never come across don't have it on video but we recently came across this diet coke m2 we like chevy trucks we actually own like i said a 68 c10 i also own a 76 k20 this uh, gmc square body is pretty cool pretty special to us it's not a chase or anything but we think it's pretty cool with the c-notched frame there the air tank because it's probably on airbags of course but that is a pretty cool casting super pumped to come across one of these so uh, uh we are pumped to add that to our collection we also came across a 76 gmc sierra now this truck is a lot like my chevy a k20 has pretty much the same front end but of course this is the gmc version which is basically the same thing um but uh i was gonna do a custom on this but i just think it's too cool to do a custom i wanted to replicate my truck um and paint it like a chevy but i would have had to have cut off that roll bar and the same thing with that bull bar as well i just don't want to do that i think it's pretty cool so i think we're going to leave this thing alone and uh, add that to our chevy truck collection and you guys can see here in the background i have this pretty cool little parking lot set that i recently picked up we do have a little parking garage, but I saw this little graffiti parking lot and I thought this was pretty darn cool. Um, it comes with a couple LED uh, street lights, um, a couple pop machines. We've got a Pepsi machine, a Coke machine, and uh, it's got some pretty cool graffiti on the walls. We've got a sidewalk, we've got some parking curbs and some indicated parking slots. One, two, three, four, five parking spots. And it is battery powered. So you actually just put like a watch battery in here and you can just by the flip of the switch, you have your light. So it is pretty cool. Doesn't use a lot of power. Our other parking garage uses USB power. And uh, this is pretty cool. We recently painted this Nissan R32 Skyline. I have not finished the details yet, but I just wanted to show you guys the nice white paint that we have on this thing. I do believe I'm gonna switch out the wheels. Uh, we're gonna get some bronze uh, TE37s to replace these. Um, and we are, of course, going to come in and paint the uh, taillights and headlights and some of the details on this thing to give it a custom look. But uh, this was out of the Nissan 5-pack, so it was originally red with the HKS livery on it. Um, but tell me what you guys think in the comments on that. Not finished yet, of course. Over here, I've showed you, shown you guys this before. This was a white Ford Lightning, and uh, I painted it red. And I added the chrome five-spoke wheels because we were going to do a Fast and Furious tribute to the Racer's Edge Ford Lightning that Brian O'Connor drove in the first Fast and Furious film. Um, you can see here I've not finished it yet because I actually bought the uh, actual water slide decals for it. From Mod My Ride, I picked up a couple sets of the Racer's Edge decals. And uh, it turns out they're actually supposed to kind of clear coat these things to put them on. And we've already clear coated our truck. So I believe what we're going to do is take this thing back apart. And you can see here we just have screws. And uh, we're going to take this thing back apart. We're going to lightly scotch bright scuff it with a gray scotch bright. We're going to transfer over our uh, water slide decals. And then uh, once hopefully they're all applied nicely, we'll go ahead and give this thing a brand new fresh clear coat. And uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty cool product at the end. Uh, so cross your fingers that I can actually apply these uh, little water slide decals. I have some gigantic palms here and uh, we'll see if we can lay down those little tiny decals. And here is something that's super special to me. This 70 Nova SS started its life off as a Fast and Furious Premium. Now I'm not done yet. We just painted this two days ago. And uh, you can see here we actually built our own hood scoop. So we actually used some body filler and we made a hood scoop and we shaved the fender gills and I actually rose the car up. I dropped the axle. It's not completely screwed together yet, guys. It's just literally sitting together. 
Um, I did a wheel swap. We gave it a satin black paint job. And I am going to come in and do a little painting on the details as far as the door handles and uh, the tail lights go. Um, so we will be doing some uh, painting on this to get it to look like our 70 Nova that we actually own in real life. But, uh, tell me what you guys think about that. I'm pretty pumped on how that thing came out. Um, that was the first time I did any crazy metal work on uh, a Hot Wheels car. But uh, I wanted to add, add the cow induction hood on the, the Nova because uh, this casting does not come with that hood. And uh, our Nova actually has a 2 inch cow hood. And uh, we also are not lowered, so I really needed to raise the axle up to give it to a more stock OEM height. Um, but I'm super pumped on that, so tell me what you guys think of that in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think of the new parking bot? And guys, thank you for hanging out to the end of the video. Now, it wouldn't be a very Thanksgiving if we didn't do a little bit of thanks and some giving. And what I had in mind for you guys was actually this Hot Wheels Fast and Furious Premium Toyota Supra with the Too Fast, Too Furious R34 graphics on it. I thought this was pretty cool. We already got one for our collection. I came across another and just had to pick it up for you guys. So I want to do a giveaway. And all you have to do to win this car is leave Supra down in the comments. On Sunday night, we're gonna go live and we're gonna go ahead and draw some names. And we're gonna go ahead and find out who wins the Toyota Supra uh, Premium. We have it in a card protector here as well. So uh, if you guys win, we'll go ahead and reach out and we'll go ahead and get you guys this car. So all you guys have to do to win this Toyota Supra is leave Supra down in the comments below. And on Sunday night, we will go live and we'll go ahead and do a drawing. Pick a name who will win this car. So uh, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Carmen and I are having a lot of fun filming these videos and we wanna keep it coming. And uh, you guys are making that possible. So uh, like, comment, share. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.